Hi everyone, I'm Ben from Cut Copy. I'm Tim from Cut Copy. I'm Dan, this guy's Mitchell. We've been shopping at Amoeba and um, if I had a bag, um, this is what would be inside it right now. This is, uh, I guess, one of my favourite record covers of all time. It's by a German group called Cluster. This part of the sort of kraut rock movement. This is probably my favourite record of theirs. I've struggled to find it anywhere else and it's popped up today, so this is my lucky day. You'd look at this and think it was some weird 70s glam band or something, but it's actually these these sort of German guys mucking around with synthesizers and it's just, I don't know, to me it's just kind of such a cool, weird contrast, I guess, the look of it to actually what the music's about. Now this is really cool, it's a, it's a new record um, of uh, sort of rare and lost My Bloody Valentine tracks. It's got a, a bunch of tunes I know and some I don't, like Glider off the Glider EP. So, um, this one should be awesome, I think. I managed to pick up a, uh, a reissue of an album called La Dusseldorf by a band called La Dusseldorf. Uh, this is the drummer from Noy's uh, project that he did after Noy's split. Um, Klaus Dinger, who sadly passed away I think, two years ago. This is a, a bit of a kraut rock gem. This is a a reissue, but it's a, um, a gem of a record and something I don't see very often, so I had to make sure I got this one. I think I, I own about five copies of this CD and record in various forms. When it came out, I remember getting the CD uh, version that came with the Soul on Patch and had the Mike Kelly artwork. So I've got that one, and I've got the box set, but yeah, I actually realised I don't have the original US pressing, so I'm a huge Sonic Youth fan. Um, on the other end of the spectrum is a bit of a uh, cheesy disco masterpiece by Giorgio Moroder called E equals MC squared. And this is a record that uh, I haven't seen in Australia very often. I've been trying to sort of hunt this down on this tour, and without much luck, but Dan actually found this for me today. The great thing about this record is the very last song, he uh, does all the credits for the, all the uh, people that worked on the record in Vocoder. He even um, lists the, uh, the tea and coffee boy right at the end, so it's, uh, it's a big moment. Tea and coffee by Lori. This record I've been searching for basically on this whole trip, like every day we go out, get coffee, find a record store. It's it's got, uh, Girl, You Need a Change of Mind, which is, I guess, sort of one of the original, sort of, early disco classics. And it's sort of definitely a, a band room kind of favourite. We've got like a little hi-fi um, set up with a um, turntable and, and a little mini PA for, for our band room which travels around with us. So whenever we buy records we can put stuff on. It's great to finally uh, track it down. To finish with, a couple of classics. I usually just buy secondhand records and it can be kind of frustrating because there's things that you just want to have but you just don't find and eventually you just get sick of waiting and break down and, and buy them new. So that's what I've done today. A couple of uh, classic pavement albums. Lies and get trails. Well, thank you for hanging out with us and sharing your purchases today. Yeah. No worries, man. Yeah. We're going to keep shopping now. No, we're going crazy, but I need you now.